Hey guys, it's Katrina from How to Start a Mom Blog. We were talking on the Facebook group about image creation and you said that it takes you forever to do them. Um, images should not take you more than five minutes, I don't think. There's lots of things that you need to do with your blog to make it succeed. Um, images is not something you should be spending way too much time on because then you can't um, work on traffic or monetization or any of the other um, important things that you have to do with a blog. So I just want to show you um, how I go about creating our images. So if I was to do on um, a post on, let's say, homemade ice cream, I need an image for, like, this is my awesome blog post, and I have all my writing in there. I normally do images right at the end so I know what the post is about, or my contributors do them, and then I just add a, um, an image at the end. So then if it was something that I made myself or one of my contributors made, I would expect photos. So you are going to miss a step, just uh, bypass this first one here. But if it was something you needed a stock photo for, I like to go to pixabay.com. It's my favorite. And if I put in ice cream, then I see what I get. Now I have not looked to see what images there are of ice cream that I would I was hoping that there'd be something, so I'm really glad that there is. Um, I wouldn't go for any of these like cartoony, um, clip arty ones. Um, my post wouldn't be about pie. Ideally, you would like a vertical image, but this is obviously not homemade ice cream. And this one here, it looks like it's in a plastic container. So I'm going to try to bypass that one because um, in our blog we try to do things that are very um, eco-conscious and more towards the natural parenting um, slant of things so it's always kind of a trick of um, what you can find and oh you always want to go with what your brand is right so here we go this one here looks good this looks like it could be something homemade um, obviously if I was using a stock image then I would go to um, adding you know say you can add toppings and that sort of thing so it fits so when I save my photos, I always save them as numbers. So this is number one. So that's what I put it as. If I was to have three or four photos in the um, image, it would be one, two, three, four. Just that makes it easier. So then I go to pick monkey. I pick collage. And I know to pick always number one. And then that way I'm not saving like a thousand photos I don't need on my computer. Because I could just override them all the time. So I always go with something that um, helps me save time. I always go with pretty much the exact same dimension. So I want to go about 650 by around 1200 or so. I don't need to be exact, that's close enough. Just drag my photo on. I want spot at the top because that's where I like to put in my title. I always like to reduce the spacing because Pinterest and them, they have white backgrounds. Same thing with my blog. Make sure that that's not cutting anything off. That's the way I want the photo to look. I could edit it. Sometimes um, I do enlarge the photo. Like if I wanted to, I could just kind of zoom in on it here. And then if I just wanted the ice you know, ice cream there um, on this photo, that's not something that I would do. And then sometimes if I want a colored background, I just drag one from a swatch. I always use the ones in the spring bling. The more consistent you can make your images, the more someone's going to go, wait, I think I know who that is. I don't put a logo or an overlay on um, on it with our logo. It's not my image. You know, it's the one I got it from a stock photo site. Pixabay, you don't need to put um, any kind of attribution on. Some of them that you do. That's just, uh, you know, something that you need to figure out for you. So we go add text. Paste it. Again, with branding, I always use the same sort of fonts over and over again. A really good um, book for fonts is Just My Type, a book all about fonts is what it's called. You could get it at your library. I'll link to it um, below the video so that you can see it. Now, I always go, sorry, I work on a different blog and she likes really funky um, fonts, so those are the ones that I don't use for taunts. I always go Fransaw 1 or Die.Gothic is the one that I like as well or um, if it's a fancier photo then I use the Biblo one and then I do have our own custom fonts in um, as well so let's go I want the ice cream all on one line 
that looks pretty good to me. I save it again because I've copied from the title. I just paste, I have everything consistent. I do it on my desktop. So I always know where it is. And here I go, add media, upload files. You can drag it as well. And then I need to just look for homemade ice cream. I always have way too much stuff in my, uh, in my desktop. So that's why I always like to try to keep it consistent with the one, two, three, four, and that sort of thing when I can. Now alt text, that's what um, Pinterest pulls, same thing with description text. So I always put the same thing as well, but I would put something like a, a very creamy dessert, perfect for a hot summer's day. Um, if, uh, say if I wrote the post and I had like a nice, like two or three sentences, just like lots of like scrumptious words, someone's gonna go, oh my goodness, I need to. Um, try that recipe. I would just copy and paste that in there and there we go. So then if we view our post, I'm not obviously going to post this, um, but then we'll be able to see our homemade ice cream. My internet's a little slow because I live in a rural area, but still very quick and easy. Always kind of do the same thing over and over and over again. Maybe I need to save it first and then um, the photo would show, but I think you've got the um, the gist of it here. Um, I will write out a checklist as well for you. So you can kind of just go boom, 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 boom. It should be pretty mechanical. Whatever fonts that you want. I like this size. Um, you could reduce it a little bit more, but this is a great size for Pinterest. Um, if you wanted to reduce it just in your post, um, you can as well. And there you go. Well, how to make an image for your blog in under five minutes.